Hello guys, today let's talk about Laravel validation and the case when the database field you need to save is differently named from the form field visually in the blade or on your front end which may be created by another team of front enders so you cannot change the name on the front end but you do need to validate it on the back end and save properly and ideally in the controller you would like to have something like this you use form request class for validation and the controller just saves validated data but the problem is that in the blade the name of the input is description but in the database that field is called content what to do in this video i will show you three ways how to deal with that situation the first way is straightforward instead of having request validated here i will paste the code you just override it here in the controller so you assign request validated to some array and then in the array you do whatever transformation you want so instead of create here you would have create after the transformation so you perform it in the controller but that is not ideal especially if we follow the philosophy of making the controllers as short as possible and offloading the logic of validation in the form request that's what it's here for right so we have validation here so we have that description field validated can we somehow override in this form request that description is actually called content when saving in fact there are two ways to do that inside of the form request class so we roll back our changes here we still stay with request validated and that validated will come correctly with the content instead of description so the second option is to introduce a function into form request called prepare for validation which means that before those rules the content will be assigned the same name so the validation doesn't change it will still validate the description and return the validation error with description but the validated method will return content as well inside of it and the final third option which will be also inside a form request class is to directly override that validated method so in your form request class you can do something like this so you provide the validated which first gets the result from patterns validated from the form request itself but then you can add whatever you want as a return so in this case we're doing array merge again assigning content to the description and then we don't need that prepare for validation thing so this is basically two different syntax options doing the same thing is just prepare for validation is technically called before the validation and validated is called after validation is done customizing the values that are returned to the controller so yeah three options which one do you prefer or maybe you have your own method share in the comments below and let's discuss and see you guys in other videos